Hello everyone, I'm Andre McClendon and today I bring you Monero. I'll be sharing three simple things about this cryptocurrency. Some market information, the news, and a price prediction at the end. Let's begin. So Monero guys, on CoinMarketCap it is sitting at $262.87, number 42 on the list, has a $4.7 billion market cap. A lot of players guys, a lot of liquidity. So. Uh, liquidity very important if you guys are going to be either trading or hodling this you got to have a big market cap makes it a whole lot easier all right guys so what is monero monero was launched in 2014 its goal is simple to allow transactions to take place privately and with an anonymity even though it's commonly th uh, thought that bitcoin can conceal a person's identity it's often easy to trace payments back to their original source um, back blockchains are transparent on the other hand, XMR is designed to obscure senders and recipients alike through to the advancer of uh, cryptography. But uh, let's check out this uh, market information. What platforms are they on? They're on Binance, KuCoin, Kraken, Gate.io, uh, Hubie Global. So there are some uh, major platforms. I don't see them on Coinbase. Maybe they are. There's a long list. Well, please check that out, guys. Well, let's also get to their rating. So the rating is as of December 20, 2019 as a B minus. So it's not bad. Um, if you guys want to check that out for the report, please check this out. I will have it posted below. But for down here, they have it as a triple B for uh, stable outlook. So there's two different reports. Please check those out, guys. Also, let's find out some news. Here's a list of news articles that are pretty relevant for Monero. There's one I have uh, looking at right now. This is probably uh, blockchain putting up $100 million to compete with Zcash and Monero. Fendora has announced a $100 million ecosystem fund. It looks to attach the DeFi applications to the network. So if you guys want to look at uh, some competition between the cryptocurrencies uh, for uh, basically privacy coins, please check those out, guys. Let's look at their main website. This is uh, getmonero.org. If I didn't explain what Monero is in a better or easier manner, watch this short uh, video clip they have on their website. It's a minute and nine seconds. But here's their website if you want to learn more about their cryptocurrency. Let's check out their Twitter page. They have 453,000 followers, so a lot of people tweeting about this. Uh, when, if you want to learn more about it, check out their tweets, check out their information. At the end, guys, please follow me uh, on Twitter too, Andre J. McClendon. Talk about political stuff, trading stuff. Same thing I do on this channel. All right, our next thing is, guys, uh, Reddit. If you guys are looking at the Reddit page, if they do post uh, fairly often, please check it out. But now let's get to that price prediction, guys. So for our first price prediction, guys, look at this chart. Oh, my gosh. I wish I was part of this cryptocurrency when it was like a few dollars. Look at that. A few dollars ramp up. Very similar to the Bitcoin chart. Like very, very, very similar. But we're on the monthly. Let's zoom in all the way to the daily. All right, let's make it a little bit better, make it a little fancier. So we're coming off this major top. So a lot of people were exiting their positions. That's fine. It's good. They're making profits while trading. Went down. Multiple wicks as buy orders. Exit multiple wicks buy orders. Uh, it, it's reversed at this point right here. So there's a lot of orders. So where are we looking at now? So if we take this from the standpoint of trading, guys. Let's see. Let's place an arrow. We're not too far from this. Uh, we're not too far from this bottom right here. So entering right now on a market order doesn't seem too bad. So for me, the first thing I'm going to do is enter it on a market order. Bam, low lot size because uh, with, with this cryptocurrency, it does have a low, another bottom here. So what I'm going to do is place a buy limit right above here, just about the zone. And it's not too far away from these tops, this order. So my first objective when trading, I'm going to enter it in a buy market. All right. And off this buy market order for a short term price prediction, I'm looking at $3.20. That's an easy top for it to hit. Correct. And then possibly another entry. But if it doesn't do that, if it hits my, uh, uh, gets my uh, buy market and it goes down here, it's going to hit my buy limit. Then I'll have two entries in. Now, I would like to use low lot sizes or low entries. Uh, when I'm staggering my entries so I can uh, burn my account. I, I only risk 2.4% while trading each uh, position, so I don't hurt my account too bad if I'm wrong, because that's how it is when you're trading, guys. You're going to be wrong sometimes. So I'm going to have that in here right here, and if it doesn't hit this entry, let it run. 
If it hits a 320, I'm going to move my stop above my entry so I can lock in profits. Lock in profits. So if it does go down from 320 and hits, let's say, 280 again or 220, I walk away with some profits. It wasn't a waste of my time. Okay? If an, and if it does hit this level right here, so hits my if I open up the buy market, goes down and hits my entry, what I'm going to do is simple. If it, if it hits my second entry, I'm going to move my stop loss higher. So if it hits 320, so for both positions, have both entries with locked in profits and let that trade run. Now let's talk about hodling, guys. Well, for this right here, we're in a very, you know, this is a consolidation right here in this zone. So hodling, I would do the exact same thing. I'm going to enter on my market or order. Just enter in. I'm not going to use uh, risk money. I'll use only money that I have just this for trading so if it's lost it's lost it's fine it's not gonna it's not gonna kill me it's not gonna i'm not gonna put my life savings up for it but i will use the analogies i've used before in the past guys and other previous videos i'm gonna enter if i had a job paying me 500 dollars a week i'm gonna use 100 dollars out of that paycheck and put it into monero i'm gonna do it every single friday to remove the emotional part of trading now that's super important. You don't want to be emotional in trading because if what ends up happening is that you exit your position too early and then you miss a whole bunch of gains. You guys want to have a, inch, a planned entry and a planned exit based off of whatever criteria you have. This is a basic, very, very elementary uh, way of looking at the markets. But as long as you have a plan, then you can you know set yourself up for success. That's the price prediction, guys. $3, uh, $320. Now let's kick it to my website. All right, we're on AndreJMcClendon.com, guys. If you're looking at, uh, I'm looking at the uh, chart stuff in here. The the homepage is a little bit different. Uh, if you guys are looking to learn more about trading, forex, uh, algorithm for, uh, programming, uh, which I do uh, for most of my trading, if you want to learn more about it, please try this. Look at the website. Go click on crypto. I just updated this portion. And uh, if you guys want to uh, talk to people, I open up a chat so you guys can talk to people, look at charts, and look at the top seven. If any questions or comments about this, guys, please drop them below or hit me up on Facebook or book a meeting through my uh, my webpage, uh, through my website. And that's the video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you later.